In this question, we're going to take a piece of paper and we're going to fold it in half and then continue to fold it in half a number of times and determine how many layers we'll have at the end of each fold. Think of the number of layers as the thickness of the paper. So for example, if we haven't folded it in half yet, the paper will be one layer thick. And after we fold it in half, it'll be one two layers thick. And if we fold it in half again, it'll be one, two, three, four layers thick. So if we look at the table, after no folds, it's one layer thick. After one fold, it's two layers thick. And after two folds, it's four layers thick, etc. So we start to see a pattern. What we're witnessing here is that each time you fold it, we're doubling the number of layers. So after three folds, we double it, and we would get four times two, or eight layers. Again, after four folds, we get eight times two, or 16 layers. And what we have to do is determine if this relationship here is linear or nonlinear. There are a number of ways that we could do this. Let's try graphically first. Let's try to plot these points and see what happens. So I look at the table of values here and I can see that after no folds, the number of layers is 1. So I can plot that point. It's about there. And then after one fold, it's 2. So over to one fold goes up to 2. So I can plot that point there. And after two folds, it's uh, four layers thick. So one, two, two, four, and plot that point. And after three folds, it's eight layers thick. So we can go over one, two, three, and then two, four, six, eight, and plot that point there. And after four, uh, it's 16 layers thick, so we can go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and plot that point. Then we try to draw a smooth curve through these points, and if I do that, it looks like something like that. And we can tell by the shape of this graph that this is nonlinear. So it looks like the answer is that this is a nonlinear relationship, but let's confirm it using another method. We know that if the relationship is linear, then its rate of change will be constant. So let's look at the change in the number of layers divided by the change in the number of folds. So we can see that the change here would be plus 1, and the change here would also be plus 1. So in this case, the rate of change would be 1 over 1, or 1. So let's go to the next one. Rate of change in the number of folds is plus 1, and the rate of change here is plus 2. So in this case, the rate of change would be 2 divided by 1, or 2. And continuing on, we could see that this would also be plus 1, and the rate of change here would be plus 4. So in this case, it would be 4 divided by 1, or 4. And finally, we could do the last pair here. We could see that the rate of change is plus 1 in the number of folds, and the change in the number of layers is plus 8. So that would be 8 divided by 1, or 8. So we can see right away that these rates of change here are not constant. So since the rate of change is not constant, therefore the relationship is non-linear. And just to clarify, we're talking about the average rate of change.